I remember the last night I used, I was, I was in Boston, I was like locked up in my apartment. I, I was convinced that somebody had called the police and that people could hear me and what, knew what I was doing. So I'm, I've all the lights out and I'm like huddled on the bathroom floor, just, just you know, doing lines and smoking coke and drinking and, and my heart was racing and I knew that, I knew that's how I was gonna die. And in that realization, I thought of what it would be like for somebody to have to tell my mom that her son died on the bathroom floor. And, and that was the last night I used. The stigma is really, it's a powerful thing. It's something that, that is sort of enmeshed in our society. You know, I think that you have the people that are in recovery or trying to find recovery and they're so full of shame. You have their loved ones who've been so wounded by the actions of the person in their addiction that, that they have, they, it conjures this, this emotion and sometimes anger or judgment about those people. And, and what sadly what often happens also is that a family might lose a loved one to overdose and never tell anyone else in their neighborhood because of that shame piece. And then so other people end up losing their loved one. And I really feel like somebody who's suffered, who struggled with a substance use disorder is just the same as everybody else. We just chose a drink and a drug as a way for our, us to cope with whatever pain we were trying to numb. You know, in our society, with so many of us seek our emotional well-being externally, you know, through what job you have, you know, what you look like, how much money you make, you know, they're chasing things that will never ultimately make them feel whole. And that's what I was trying to find drinking and drugging. So I'm really no different than anybody else. I mean, it's a human experience. You know, in many ways, we're all in recovery from the human experience. When Phoenix first started, I thought we always, we have to have a way for, for folks to be empowered by their stories. We help people dream of what's possible in recovery. And the more they kind of realize those dreams and start becoming a little bit more a climber or a mountain biker or, you know, a CrossFit athlete or Olympic weightlifter, then they're a little bit less an addict every time until finally there's this shift and they think of themselves differently. And when that happens, it makes space for them to become a good brother and a good son and a good friend or a good coworker. You know, it's like wearing the sober shirt. It's like, I'm proud of this shirt. I'm not proud of what I was doing in my, in my disease, but I'm proud of who I am today. And if I'll wear this shirt and make space for other people that are struggling to come forward and ask for help, then we can start to chip away at that stigma. My name's Scott and I'm stronger than stigma.